we are going to check the scaling stable if the operation star is commutative or not. We are now sure that star is a binary operation because we could see here that as we apply the elements A, B, C, D, and E to the same elements in itself, we could see that the resulting elements here are just combinations of A, B, C, D, and E and elements of the same set. This, is, this means that our star is binary. But the next thing here is whether this is commutative or not. For commutativity, we just need to establish that if we are going to pick a certain A, star B, this is just the same as B, star A. Okay? If we are going to have the same um, elements uh, rearranged uh, to which is first and which is next, the re they, if their results would, have, would be the same, and we can say that it's commutative in general. If we're going to have here A star B, so A would be this column here, a row, and times this row. A times B, the intersection is B using the scale table. So this means that our A star B is B. On the other side, B times A, you have B times A. The intersection is also B. So with this scale table, we can say that this is B as well. Since we have the same, we can say that A star B is equal to B star A. But is it enough for us to declare that star is commutative? Of course, not yet. Because if we could see even just one counterexample, then it will now uh, tell us that com uh, commutativity will not hold for this certain star given the scale is table. But of course, there are a lot of pairs that we could try here. We have five elements, A, B, C, D, and E. So if we have, we can actually try multiple of times here. Specifically, we could try um, 25 number of times. We have A times A, A times B, uh, B times A, because we are going to consider as well their um, opposites. But there is an idea for us to determine or easier way for us to check whether it's a commutative or not, uh, whether the KDS table is commutative or not. If we are going to draw a certain imaginary line on our di uh, diagonal here, just like that. Okay, so we draw the diagonal line because uh, this diagonal line contains the elements of when we, um, when we operate the element to itself, A star A, right? A star A, that's the result here. So A star A, that's the result here. B star B is this result, C star C, D star C, E star E. So if you're going to uh, interchange them, so it's commutative in this line. Now, if you're going to look at the elements on the upper diagonal and the lower diagonal, see if there are elements that are um, not corresponding. I'm talking about, we have here B, C, D, uh, B, C, B, D. This should also be the way here, B, C, B, D. If you're going to check all of those entries, those entries just for that specific row and column, we can say that they are commutative. But if we're going to clo get closer, we have A, E, C. A, E, B. Here comes the difference. We're going to continue. B, A, B, A, D, and D. So we only have two entries which are not the same as the other. We have this entry here, which is the result. If we are going to um, take B star E, okay? This entry here, this one, okay? that's B star E. And the other side, this entry here, is E star B. So you have E star B. So let's try to check. Okay, B star E is again C and E star B is equal to B. They are not the same. Just for this one counter example, we can now say that star is not commutative. Because for star to be commutative, it should include all elements or for all elements on the same set. So again, we're able to identify that. Uh, we're going to we were able to identify the direct counter example without altering or using the operation for all elements just by drawing this diagonal line. And we could see that there are some discrepancy when it comes to the diagonals or the entries on the both uh, portions of our diagonal. 
This is how we determine whether a certain Kaylee staple is commutative or not. Thank you very much for watching.